Welcome back guys. In this video, I'll be testing the Last of Us Part 2 Remaster on my ROG LA running on Linux based Basite operating system. I've already covered the game on Windows. I'll also show you how to install TLSS enabler mod to enable FSR frame generation. Now this game officially supports FSR 3.1. Even the upscaler is decoupled from frame generation. But the thing is, official FSR frame generation implementation is a bit buggy. On Linux operating system, it causes excessive ghosting doesn't help much in improving the performance on ROG LA Windows when I combined FSR frame generation with anti-lag 2 it made the game run in a choppy manner I had to disable anti-lag 2 Linux does not even support anti-lag 2 so I'm not sure why the official FSR frame generation implementation does not work properly on it this is the system section for Bazite I've set the UMA buffer size to auto video driver AMD RADV 25.0.2 show the handheld daemon settings double press the arm create button advanced setting I have set the TDP value to 27 watts the actual power draw for the APU will be slightly higher than the value shown here we can verify this from the performance overlay TDP boost disable using a very aggressive fan curve CPU settings CPU power set to low CPU boost disable GPU frequency set to auto the game just received a new hotfix patch version 1 this is the update log. Mouse input changes to improve detection of subtle aiming movements. The upscale sharpness slider now gives improved control over sharpening. Fixed a crash that could occur when playing at 1440p resolution with volumetric quality set to medium. Fixed a crash that could occur while erratically moving the mouse in the menu before starting a new game. I am using Proton Experimental as the compatibility layer. Connected my Cosmic Byte Stellaris gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Launch the game. First I'll run the game without any mods installed, performance QM settings, only level set to 3, frame limit set to 120, VRR enabled, that's it. In game display settings, I have set the resolution to 900p, VSync off, frame rate cap set to 360, frame generation disabled for the time being, using XCSS upscaler, game supports version 1.3 of XCSS, it produces less texture shimmering than FSR upscaler. Using XCSS upscaler's quality preset, sharpness slider, set it to 4. Graphic settings. First, I'll run the game on low settings. Preset set to low. I'll just disable post processing effects like depth of field and motion blur. Off. Frame gain intensity set to nil as well. I straight away jumped into downtown Seattle, one of the most demanding areas of this game. It's basically a dilapidated city covered in vegetation as you can see. Yeah, here FPS is close to 45, we are hitting the GP bottleneck as expected. Look at that frame pacing graph, a flat line indicating very stable performance. Check out the power draw for the APU, it's close to 29 watts. Ok now I'll increase the settings to medium, image quality is looking very sharp, look at the grass blades here, switch to medium preset, and this will automatically enable motion blur, disable it again, depth of field disabled as well, apply, back to the game, here yeah, FPS drop to around 40. At low preset, FPS was close to 45. At medium preset, FPS is within a range of 40 to 45. Better to use medium setting instead of low settings. Not a big drop in performance. I'll just set the preset to high now. Let's see what happens. 37 FPS preset set to high I hope the game does not run out of VRAM need to disable depth of field and motion blur resume the game the yeah, FPS is close to 40 again not a big drop in performance Thirty-six FPS. 
good to see fps not dropping below 30 even on high settings see some animals in the background i'll go through here you can actually play this game on high settings this is amazing frame pacing graph is still a flat line no noticeable hitching and this particular area is very heavy on the GPU FPS dropped to around 33, 32 <laughs> it's still above 30 this is amazing almost 30 FPS you can drop the resolution to 720p helping improving the performance 720p resolution using the quality preset of XCSS apply back to the game yeah FPS increased to around 39 37 to 39 FPS at 900p resolution here FPS was around 30 to 33 I'll be honest the image quality is still looking quite good not bad at all it's up to you how you want to play the game if you want to use frame generation I would recommend running the game at 720p resolution medium settings you want the base fps to be as high as possible otherwise latency will become a problem anti lag 2 is not supported by linux anti lag 2 helps in cutting down the latency ok now i'll showcase the official fsr frame generation implementation which is broken frame generation increases vram usage so i've dropped the graphics preset to medium quickly disable motion player and depth of field 720p resolution xcss upscale on using its quality preset frame generation set it to fsr apply i'm in the town of jackson yeah here fps is close to 80 but just check out the image quality so much boosting is produced in the environment the display looks like as if it's vibrating animation is looking so jarring this is not smooth at all and it's not a case of the game running out of vram i have already dropped the graphics settings to medium resolution set to 720p still this is happening now i'll show you how to fix this issue i'll simply install dlss enabler it will replace the game's dlss frame generation setting with fsr frame generation setting before exiting the game set frame generation to off apply this is besides running in desktop mode just download the latest trunk build of TLSS enabler I'll give its github link in the description of the video scroll down until you find the asset section expand it click on the .exe link I'll be executing this exe file using protontrix if protontrix is not already installed on your besides just install it via discover store the application is completely free open dolphin file explorer click on downloads here look for DLSS enabler set a file that you just downloaded there it is select it right click now click on open with select protontrix launcher this window will pop up from here you just need to select last of us part 2 click on ok DLSS enabler setup wizard will start check this option I accept click on next next click on browse here we need to navigate to the games install directory I've installed the game on Alice internal storage which is represented by the alphabet Z there it is default install directory now open home folder open the folder whose name is the same as your PC's username in my case it's gdj now open dot local folder open share folder open steam folder open steam apps folder open common folder look for last of us 2's folder there it is select it click on ok this is the final directory it's the default install directory for steam games click on next check this option install as a version.tll file check this option enable support for amd and intel gpus check this option install optiscaler 0.6 as i'll be using nukem 9's mod won't be using OptiScale FSR frame generation click on next install wait for the process to complete uncheck this option click on finish 
On Linux, TLSS Enabler uses Latency Flex to cut down the latency, but it can cause some issues in some games like Star Train. So I'll be disabling it manually. Open the Games Installed directory. Select the game in your library. Right click Manage. Click on Browse Local Files. This is the Games Installed directory. Hey, look for a file name fake nvapi.ini. There it is. Open it. Just need to set force underscore reflex to 1. Force disable. Click on save, close. Now we need to add a launch option to the game. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Click on general. Under launch options, add this line of text. I'll provide it in the description of the video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. Close. Ready to run the game. Switch to Steam as game mode. When you launch the game with the mod installed, you'll see this error prompt. Game requesting us to update our GPU drivers. Ignore it, just tap on OK. We are in display setting 720p resolution. Vsync off. You need to set upscaler to TLSS. Yeah, it's unlocked. Mod is working using the upscaler's quality preset. Frame generation, just set it to TLSS. There's the option. Reflex will get enabled automatically. Graphics using the medium preset with motion blur and depth of field disabled see how mod frame generation works open optiscaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key and there it is and just increase its size click on the drop down bar next to us scale set the value to 1.3 still small in size set the value to 1.4 much better from this drop down bar make sure xcss is selected it's actually version 2, not 1.2, which is shown here. This is incorrect. Check this setting, auto exposure. Click on save INI. Right here. Settings will get saved even after we restart the game. Load the same sequence. FPS is close to 82. Moving the camera around. No ghosting is produced in the environment now. Animation is looking smooth. I can see some garbled textures produced around the left and right edges of the display when I move the camera. See? Strip of textures. Even official FSR frame generation implementation had it. No significant artifacts. Games interface is not flickering. Hard elements. So this is how you get FSR frame generation working in this game. Yeah, subtitles are not flickering. I'll show you some combat as well. Playing as Abby now. A horde will be coming after me. It's a chase sequence. Yeah, latency is not a problem. Latency is inversely proportional to the base FPS. Higher the base FPS, lower the latency. This is why I dropped the settings to medium. Look at these garbled textures again. Features are right on my tail. There they are, see. Eighty to ninety FPS not bad at all. Not safe yet. Oh my god. No hitching at all, that's really good to see. Oh no, took the wrong route. That was close. Again I took the wrong route. So hand there. That creature almost grabbed me. It's a shame that official FSR frame generation implementation does not work properly on Linux. But you can use TLSS enabler mod. Don't think the mod is completely free. Don't have to pay anything. But it does produce some minor artifacts. This is a scripted sequence. Yeah, a few hitches there. And we will not be able to hold them up.
one's arm is will be able to breach the hands there you go just need to spam a key that's Joel who saved us in this game we fight against humans and zombie like creatures who are infected with some kind of fungus that's Tommy, Joel's brother turn on my flashlight throw a mountain cocktail at these things, turn them down come back few hitches here, nothing extreme use melee combat oh my god Dodge that attack These things keep interrupting me Clear the area So good experience on Bazaar. That's it for the video guys I hope you find it useful Thanks for watching and have a nice day